I just want to talk a little bit about my experience with shoulder surgery. Uh, rotator cuff repair, the torn uh, tendon up there, and then the, uh, the tendon that goes to the bicep was torn. See, I'm all nice little sling. It's been about a week since the surgery. Still sleeping in a recliner because I tried to lay in the bed and it's just way too uncomfortable still. Use a lot of ice packs. And then uh, I'm gonna talk about pain medicine. So it looks like they went in, made a hole here, here and here, and went in to repair this tendon that tore right here on this ball. And then up here on my bicep, they cut a bigger hole so they could go in and get a hold of the tendon that tore and bring it up and reattach it. And I think they had to use some stuff that looked like fishing line to uh, get it all reattached and that it will stay in there. It's not going to be coming out. So nowadays, I believe it might be normal practice to have a nerve block when you have certain surgeries. I guess as long as your insurance approves that type of thing. But after like 24 hours after the surgery, that nerve block's gonna wear off and that's when you need to be ready. You're gonna need some uh, good pain medicine. One thing though, I, some advice I might wanna give is uh, when the pain gets really bad, they may suggest, you know, I got hydrocodone and then uh, they told me to also, when it got bad, they told me to take 800 milligrams of ibuprofen every six hours with the hydrocodone. And after a couple of days of that, uh, I believe the ibuprofen was a little bit too much and it messed my stomach up really bad. So, and I was like horrible stomach problems for a week. It just ended. So I would avoid the massive doses of ibuprofen if you can um ice works a lot you need ice packs so yeah i would definitely avoid the high doses of ibuprofen unless that type of thing doesn't bother your stomach but that's just my suggestion ice is going to be one of the main things to help with pain you can either just See, there's some more simple ones that use a little strap. And then over here, there's some fancy ones that go strap on your shoulder. And then also, they got some little cooling units that I guess are electric and they pump the cool air up into the, the shoulder uh, device. Or you can just use regular old ice packs, frozen vegetables, and a towel. Works pretty good too. But ice is a big big help and before your surgery you're going to probably want to go out and buy some special clothes you're going to need some loose fitting what i guess we used to call sweatpants but just you know some good nice pull-up type pants nothing with buttons or snaps because you're not going to be able to do that and then as far as shirts go you can see this picture some people go through the trouble of cutting a shirt up the side and up the sleeve and putting little snaps or velcro and all that but if you buy go buy some cheap t-shirts that are like two sizes too big for you uh, you can get them over your hurt shoulder and then get them on really easy and it's it's been working out real good so you don't need the super fancy shirt you also might want to uh, pre-cook some meals and maybe put them in, you know, storage containers, put them in the freezer, or go out and get some decent frozen dinners and things like that because the person that's going to be helping take care of you, you need to make it as easy on them as possible because, you know, you're going to be a pain in the butt and you need to think about them a little bit. All right, so anyway, that's a few of the things that I think are important to get ready in advance as far as get you some good clothes for that. And, you know, 
like I said, pre-cooked meals. Make sure you got ice packs. And, uh, you know, try to watch out for the pain medication so you don't mess up your stomach. And be ready for some discomfort. But, anyway, I might come back with some updates later on. See how it goes.